Ah, oh, okay. Managed to do exactly what it is I wanted to do. So now, Daisy's actually approaching the star. She's close to it now. She's gone past the um, hazard. Pardon me, of the Bowser space. Don't know why Koopa Kid's deciding to put it there instead of use it on himself. Guaranteed to get himself um, five bonus coins. He actually almost landed on it. Ah, oh, damn it. Too late. Oh well. Oh well. Right, so 57 is currently set to be the coin lead. So that means Daisy's got the first star. Oh wow, am I actually the first player for once? I am, wow. I've hardly been the one player in this minigame. Alright, let's pop some tubes. Okay, that was Luigi's fault that was for... Um... Okay, let's see. Ah, uh, Luigi's escaped. Oh, I see! No, yes! Right before the finish line! Nice! I don't know what the heck Luigi was doing there. It was like gyrating on the spot or somewhat. I think he was doing that so he could try and throw me off, see where he's actually going. Yeah. There you go, first star's daisies. And the next star is actually where Koopa Kid sat on the first day. Hey, isn't that where the Kamek event was originally put by Eldstar? I think it was. <laughs> Alright Koopa Kid, what are you going to do? You're actually not going to use the Mushroom Castle that you stole from me. Back to square one for you. Alright. Um, could be a troll and switch the star space, but I'd rather head towards it since I'm actually in the lead. Besides, what if the trees the orb actually moved the star in front of Luigi? And he's putting the Cooper Bank space on where the star was first bought. And he landed directly on it. Luigi, that does not give you any coins, you know. It only gives you coins if someone has gone past it. Unbelievable. Ah! Bow minigame on turn five. And it's four standard ten, that's alright. That's alright. Uh yep. 
We get to play the final battle mini game that we've yet to play. Astrological. This mini game is mainly dedicated to you to understanding zodiac symbols of Sagittarius, Cancer, which I don't really um, like the sound of, but I'm not questioning anybody who actually is the Cancer zodiac symbol, really. But, and so on. Uh, so we've got moving to firm. So the card in the mirror slowly comes into focus. Determine which one it is, then find it on the game board. This is basically reaction testing, this is. Some of these are actually not real zodiac signs as far as I'm aware of. Uh, oh god, I think... Where is that one? I oh, found it, found it, it's up here. My right, Luigi's gone. Oh, um, that one. Scorpio, I think that is. Jeez, oh jeez. Where is that? That's Libra. There it is, up there. I think that's Libra, that is. Yeah, if you notice a sign that has only got one of them on the entire board, immediately run to that, because that's always guaranteed to be the third one. Not the Libra one, of course. Whichever one that you see there's only one of, go for that. Okay. Well, I've increased my coin lead even more now. It now sits at 74. On turn 6. Okay, Daisy's not far behind me, but she doesn't really have enough money for the star anyway. Oh, that's a good roll for Cooper Kid. And he could actually use the Mushroom Capsule to guarantee the um, star next turn, actually. Oh, wow! So, Daisy and Cooper Kid roll a 10, and I get a 1. That sounds normal. Curse Mushroom Castle for Luigi. Got a 1v3 minigame. The new minigame is on there. And we got it! Squared away. So we've, so we've managed to play every single 1v3 minigame now. Square the way is basically a minigame where the three players each climb into a giant cube and try to squish the fourth player who is a tiny cube. Um, who's actually trying to escape in other words. We all just basically move with the left thumbstick. The smaller cube should make tight turns to escape the giant boxes, meaning that it can actually move a lot quicker than the big three as you can see right there. This is basically like that um that mech minigame where um you're controlling three giant robots. Oh, I almost got her then. Come on, Cooper Kid. That Luigi! Oh, damn. Nah, she's won it. She won. And this is what happens. The losing player just purposely trips up so they can get trampled over by the thwombs in the background. Alright, well done, Daisy, for your victory, even though... Um, 
Everybody tends to find you really stubborn. Even Steven's with Cooper Kid, I see. But without a doubt, Cooper Kid's got the star because he's not using the mushroom capsule. Um, one question. Why? Why? Because I tell you what, Cooper Kid, the closest player to you right now is Daisy, because I'm 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 spaces away from the star. Even though if I have over 10, I'm not guaranteed to get it. Curse Mushroom Capsule. Right, I'm going to do a sensible thing here. Because Cooper Kid, without a doubt, is going to get the star, right? So, I'm going to predict something. Because there is actually a star space down this way. But I think it probably is not going to show up there, so I'm going to actually go for the star. Because I believe as soon as I approach there, Cooper Kid is obviously going to use the Cooper... So he's going to use the mushroom capsule. And try to make things a lot harder for me. Because believe me when I say this. Like obviously I did say this in um, part one. Uh, Cooper Kid is actually one of the toughest opponents I've had to deal with so far. But that can change. Because I think Cooper Kid was... Um, well, I think Cooper Kid had five stars at the end of the last board. If Daisy um, or Luigi gets at least three, well, four stars or less closer to me, if I win, that is, then they would now be known as the toughest opponent. But without a doubt, I, I think... It's going to be Cooper Kid. But it can still vary. It can still vary. Alright. Cooper Kid is going to kick, so I'm going to punch. He actually used chop. And then knock. Wow. Imagine if I chose chop right there. It would have actually repeated itself. He actually picked the exact same one. Uh, does he really think I'm going to choose Chop every time? He is! Uh, Cooper Kid. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> I was actually going to say, like, Cooper Kid, are you actually going to pick the exact same one every time? Well, I actually could have won that then. Because I thought, I think he's going to pick it because I'm going to use Kick again. So I'm going to choose Punch. And he actually... He thought ahead of me. Well, without a doubt, Daisy's got the star. Okay, was I right? Was the next star space not going to be where I said it was going to be? I was right. It's down there. Okay, Cooper Kid. I can kind of respect the fact that you were doing that, but really, I don't think there was any point in you doing that, to be honest. Uh, no, I want to go that way, please. Thank you. 
I want to put it up there. Alright, seven, not bad. So, since Cooper Kid um, decided not to use the mushroom capsule on himself, which was originally mine to begin with, um, I have a chance to get the star. Unless Luigi decides to warp to one of our locations because he's got the warp pipe capsule. Another four player. No, battle minigame. Right, so it doesn't really matter which battle minigame we have now, because we've played all of them now. Thirty. Wow, they all want to play that minigame. I don't blame them. <laughs> I was actually kind of thinking that same one. Got to be fast aim mashing here. Come on! Yeah! Green wins! Did I just see a roller coaster with bully bills up there in the distance there? That kind of look like Bully Bill roller coaster ride. Imagine if you bought on a roller coaster and went exactly the same speed as a Bullet Bill. Um, I know Bullet Bills don't move so fast in the 2D Mario um, adventure games, but imagine of their actual speed. Oh, blimey, my coin lead is getting greater and greater every minute. One hundred and nineteen coins in, I believe, ten turns. That is a waste of a coin block, Castle Daisy. You want to put those on the blue space. And she's landed on my cursed mushroom space. As you know, think about it, that probably might not have been a good place to put that, to be honest, because... It is within five spaces to the DK space and the Bowser space. Right, Luigi could actually switch places with um, Cooper Kid, actually. If I, let's see if I'm right. Let's see. One, two. Yeah, it is. Uh, no. Why? Why is it that the AI always gets high rolls and I just get low rolls? Form, uh, Cooper Kid or random? Uh, I'll pick random, even though it's gonna pick him anyway. <laughs> really, Luigi? <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. Still no sign of that one four player minigame that we've yet to have. Well, Waluigi got married last time, which was on Pirate Tree, and let's see if we can do it again. You probably think, are they actually the same Coopers that are getting married all the time? Or do they marry, like, a different, like, Cooper couple every time they play this minigame? Because... The Cooper that throws the bouquet is always the one with red, and the one that's like getting married to it is the one in green. Well, it looks like Daisy's actually going to win at the minute. Finish! 
Yeah, Daisy won. And that actually makes sense, considering that females normally catch the bouquet. <laughs> no, really, they do.